Hey guys, so I filmed a haul of the things that I bought at the Open Fort Warehouse sale as well as things that I bought thrifting, but the video was just not good at all, so I think I'll just do a voiceover on the trend clips that I do have. I'll also include prices and sizes of the items if they do have them, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So starting off with something that's actually not from the warehouse sale or the thrift is this knit green tank top from Forever 21. Um, I don't wear tank tops often because I'm more of a t-shirt kind of gal, but I really like the style and fit of this tank top. It's ribbed and very flattering, and I've been really into green recently, so I picked this up. Also, my friend told me that Forever 21 is going bankrupt, so look out for any sales. So next up are the items from the Oaken Fort warehouse sale. I found this super cute avocado t-shirt, and it was the only one that I saw there, so I think I got really lucky. Since I was going to buy it no matter what, I didn't bother to check for flaws and there are these two super tiny holes on the back that aren't even noticeable but I could have asked for a discount. Like I said, I've been really getting into green recently but even if the t-shirt wasn't, I still would have bought it for the avocado graphic. So next up is this very warm and big peachy pink colored cardigan. I've been looking for oversized Korean style cardigans recently so I'm very happy to have found this. Again, I only saw one of this item and it was hiding underneath the clothing racks. There is a small flaw on the right lapel that I didn't notice till I got home, and this is also a sample item so it never got sold in stores and there's also no tag. Now onto bottoms, I bought this cream colored skirt with contrast stitching. I only have one other skirt so I thought this would be a good addition to my closet. It can be worn throughout the year during all seasons as well. In general, I've been buying a lot of neutral colored clothing for fall and winter, and I can imagine wearing this skirt with a lot of different items in my closet. I've been in need of some denim shorts, so I was so excited to find these ones there. They're made out of two different washes of denim, which I think is very unique, and I think Urban Outfitters sells jeans and shorts like this one as well. These shorts are also made out of a very lightweight denim material, which is ideal for summer. And once again, this is a sample item, so this was not sold in stores. The last item I bought was this long denim dress. This is made out of a very thick denim material so I think it could be worn all year round just depending how you style it. And it could be worn by itself but I think a t-shirt or a long sleeve underneath it is even nicer. I think this is a sample item as well and I really love this find. Please enjoy these random photos I have from that day while I talk about my experience. So this is my second year going to the Oaken Fort Warehouse sale and I think I liked what I got even more this year. Both years, I went on the second day and arrived at 10 a.m. and the doors opened at 9 a.m. Last year, there was no line and this year, I waited for maybe five minutes. I also spent around three and a half hours there last year and around two and a half this year. I would 100% recommend checking out the sample racks and just saving your money for this warehouse sale. They have a huge selection of items and if you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll try to reply. Now onto the thrifted items. I went to Salvation Army and picked up this oversized brown t-shirt. I like the piping detail on the neckline and sleeves, and I usually just like a crew neck tee, but I like the cut of this v-neck. As mentioned earlier, I wanted to get more neutral fall colored clothing, so I was happy to find this. And with my oversized t-shirts, I like them just tucked in, but I know a lot of people like theirs cropped. I personally just can't commit to cropping mine. Again, another oversized t-shirt, but this one is maroon and has a pocket. It reminds me of this maroon mock neck that I have that's just big and comfy, so I wanted to get this. Wearing big tees untucked has been coming back this summer, but I don't know if I can say that since I start school tomorrow. But anyways, yeah, I've been really into that look, but just be careful that your t-shirt isn't too big because it could look like you're wearing a t-shirt dress with jeans. The last t-shirt that I bought is this purple Polo Ralph Lauren Loren uh, t-shirt with yellow detailing. With green, I've also been really getting into purple, and this is my first true purple t-shirt. I also have a lavender pastel purple colored t-shirt I got at Value Village in the States, but yeah. Um, this t-shirt is just easy to put on when I have nothing to wear. This oversized, wow, how many times am I going to say that in this haul? Anyways, this oversized gray Tommy sweater is one of my favorite finds from this thrift trip. It was pretty pricey for a thrift item, but after trying it on, I had to get it. I think everyone needs a basic gray sweater in their closet, so I was super happy to find mine at this thrift store. Next is another polo item, and this is a bright royal blue quarter zip up. Like the last item, this is very thick and warm for the upcoming seasons. They also match my blue nails. 
I debated on buying it for my Instagram shop, but I ended up really liking it. I'll link my account in the description if anyone is interested, but I only do local meetups. Lastly from Salvation are these denim shorts and they have a funny story to them. I went thrifting with some friends from my youth group and my friend Abby showed me these pair of funky shorts that you either hated or loved. They're definitely from another decade, maybe the 80s, but they have this patterned fabric on the waist and the hems as well as patches on the front and back. If you unroll the bottoms, there's actually a frayed hem, but I think it's better rolled up. Anyways, my friend Kat posted a poll on her Instagram story to decide if I should buy them, and surprisingly, the vote was around 60 yeses and 10 noes. The people voting probably just thought it was funny, so they voted yes. Still, I was unsure about getting them, but Abby said she'd e transfer me $5 to buy them because she loved them that much. Now I have to wear them to our next youth event. Two days ago, I went to Coquitlam and went to Valley Village and bought these trousers. I really like the pattern of the pants and their wool, so they're very warm but also a little itchy. They're bearable, but I think I would wear a thin pair of leggings underneath them, which is fine since I'd probably only wear them in the colder seasons. They're also super long on me, so I would need to roll them up a couple times. They were also new with original tags when I bought them. Sorry there's no proper outro for this video, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for any random videos I may upload.